and look at what arrived a uh, Frieden SWT10 or STW10 I don't remember in pretty good shape I had another one uh, was sent to me that arrived completely destroyed but this one it made it intact it was packed correctly and uh, of course I tried it on and let's see what happens so it has this weird plug that no this weird plug that didn't come with the machine but I had one and it makes that horrible noise and nothing works everything is stuck as you'd expect but it's in a very good uh, state, it's very clean, so I uh, think when I stick it and I oil it, uh, the chances that I get it to work are pretty good. Alright, I have taken its clothes off and look at this beauty. It is just spectacular mechanics built like a tank at least it's better without the cover the covers are, are such drab color so I found quite a, a few stuck shafts uh, in the machine I unstuck all of the ones I could find uh, but it's still not enough uh, so I need to go in it try to remove the keyboard so once you loosen that screw here and take the Two of them at the bottom over there. I think I can move that whole thing here. How well? Uh, so I'll put the camera down and try to remove it here for a second. Uh, yep, the whole assembly comes out. So here it is, the whole thing. And uh, I have a little bit more visibility into the clutch in particular. Um, and the main axle which is stuck. Maybe I can feel my way out and find out why it's stuck. So all these wheels up here which are the the number setting wheels and you see them moving when I push. That's what the the keys would do. Those were all stuck. Um, as a rule everything else on the black axle was stuck in this machine. They're all free now. But that still didn't unstick my main axle. So I think I figured out uh, how to uh, remove the uh, upper carriage here. There are two little brackets. One here, which I can access. Another one down here. I'm not sure how I'm going to get to it. So here comes the bracket. There we go. That's the one that I think is holding the the whole tray. So I removed that uh, end screw here, which wasn't easy by the way. And that's enough to liberate one end. Maybe I can wiggle that thing out. We'll see. Alright, so the bar came out. If I just could, yeah, there it is. So the bar came out. And now. This is fine. So this wasn't stuck. So this is good news. Actually, I might not need to remove it. I'll, I'll do it just so I see what's underneath. Okay, second bracket came out as advertised. And now, see if I can move this. Still seems stuck somewhere. We'll see. Okay, I think I know. It's stuck by this guy in the front. And this other one in the front. So maybe actually I was a doofus. I shouldn't have taken those uh, those one at the back. Well, I know now. All right, so off it goes. Um, everything is in good shape. Actually, I had oiled it from the top before. Actually, the whole had substrike here was a uh, sluggish. Okay, so I found one more guy that was stuck. This guy over here. Uh, 
No, it's unstuck, but I don't think that's the source of my problem. My problem is that the, uh, you cannot really see it well, the main drive in the middle is really stuck hard. It is no play at all. It's this guy going all the way through, driving everything. So it could be anything it drives that jams it. It comes out here. And I can't move it a bit. And it's in the very middle of the machine. That's very annoying. I think I have an inkling where one of the blockages comes from. So the, the main drive shaft drives all those actuators here. And they all wiggle a little bit except this one, who when I push it seems real stuck. And actually when I have the machine tug on it, maybe you can see it. They move a little bit, but this one over there, which is unfortunately in the shade, doesn't move at all. So I'm going to take another try at deassembling the back plate, this time removing all the screws here. The whole plate at the back that was in here and uh, came out and I fortunately I found all the balls. <laughs> so. This was a little scary, but I got them all. Okay, it looks like the uh, operation was successful. Now I can I wiggle uh, actuator 4, and eventually it came loose. And uh, now I can see it sticks down a level further. So I just checked actuator 6, this one over here. This is free it wiggles so it's just this one these two gears down there those are stuck so it's either that axis or the axis goes to there is a horizontal axis that traverses the machine that is stuck one of the two so i was able to move that pinion over here up by taking this little screw out there's two one on the other side and now this one is free so it tells me that this is the part that's stuck. Yeah, this is the main axis. And there's not many parts where you can get stuck. And uh, there's a bearing here and a bearing at the bottom. Uh, so it shouldn't be that hard. It's just hard to get to it. So that's the, by the way, that's the multiplier shift uh, power that goes through there. So in order to get to uh, back there, I'm uh, going to try to remove the keyboard here. Okay, some progress here. I was able to unst unstuck this guy. It was just stuck on the shaft. I just uh, tapped it with uh, application of that and a hammer, actually. Then I could get gain access here, pull that one up, starting to wiggle it, and got that semi-loose. Uh, and this one, actually, got stuck somewhere else too so they were both stuck but this one stuck was stuck because of if I can get my light um, there is an eccentric right here stuck between two plates and was completely stuck so I was, I was stuck because of this piece over here which I no, finally also forced it to and now there's a little bit of life here uh, finally well there was there you go. See, it turns a little bit. Okay. So I reconnected the two shafts. Let's see if the motor can pull the whole thing. Oops. It sure can. Okay. Well, it could <laughs> for a little while. Okay. Making some progress here. All right, I reconnected the keyboard, and uh, this feels like the first accomplishment here. I can enter numbers. It has life. Yeah. All right, and they're all the right numbers. And I can do a clear. It, it doesn't stop at the end. I have because uh, something is so sluggish, but. 
I have to pull it by hand. But you, that's the first sign of life in that calculator. Feels like a great achievement. So it wasn't adding, and uh, actually I basically couldn't push the, the plus key in, and I discovered that it's this mechanism over here uh, that didn't work too well. And actually it was, let me remember, yeah, it was this guy. This guy wasn't returning, was stuck. So it's untuck, unstuck, now I can push the key in and make addition subtraction. So I think uh, it goes from one cycle, nothing could be wrong here, it's going to add. Now when I multiply, it never engages the multiplier. And I think it's because this guy over here is stuck. That's the one that pushes the power cam. And the power cam is going to move this guy, I believe, and, and this is kind of entirely stuck, completely. There's a lever here, so I, I, I'm going to take it off and try to loosen it up. This guy is so stuck, it's incredible. I keep rocking it back and forth and pushing it, and I can't even get it out of its pivot. Uh, all right, I finally was able to push this one out after wiggling it a million times and clean it up. So that's the one that uh, applies the, the power to the clutch here, to the power clutch here. And it pushes on this assembly, which is also sluggish. So that's also, but it's partly stuck. So this one I should be able to oil it and get it back to move correctly. Okay. Fire clutch moves, the uh, cam follower moves, I think we're in good shape. This one is not moving right either, oh, I'm losing it up. Okay, this is a lot better, makes you wonder how many parts are actually stuck in the machine and if I will eventually get them all. Okay, let's see if the losing of the parts results in some multiplication action. So that works fine now. It stops at the end and do melt. Yep. Now I put it all back together and after putting the carriage on I discovered I screwed up uh, in those things, the selecting gears. Uh, they are multi-position thingy, you go up or down and there's a little actuator that actuates them, it has to be, those wheels have to be in this groove here, so I missed one. I think I have a few more. I thought I had three that were this one, two, and three. This gear, so. So I put it back together and I had a uh, few temporary setbacks, but eventually I, I got it. So the bigger setback was the setting of this cam, but the uh, carriage works now. Addition and subtraction don't work. Um, multiplication still doesn't work either. So I still didn't put it back quite right. Uh, so I have to undo it a third time. Uh, so what happens is once you do uh, addition, and let's put a, a, a real number on it, the first one. So the first one turned, and this one is set wrong. At the end of the turn, the T's won't be up. It will be one off. 
and it'll prevent that it'll block the addition for the next time around so I have this one that's not set correct and there's this guy also hands with the T's in the middle the T's should be straight up once a number has entered and this one is hands up in the middle so I guess I have to uh, change the registration of this wheel versus this the add subtract gear which means taking the whole thing apart again yay oh, I can't believe it I finally unstuck enough things and remounted it right so I got the uh, uh, addition to work so let's do a big one Nine 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 nine. Right now it's one zero, right? And let's do plus. I switched everything to nine, and this one is still a zero, but we're going to change that. One plus. And here we go. Change to one. Uh, and see if you can subtract a bit uh, it would be better if I did subtract one and it did so and also the carriage works uh, it doesn't clear though uh, so I have to, still to have to figure that out but let's do a big multiplication one two three four five six seven eight nine and one two three four five six seven eight nine eight all right uh, I think I have to move that one like this and multiply is that zero yes it is multiply Ta-da! And it's that big number over there. Woo! So that's looking good all of a sudden. So one thing that still doesn't work, actually two things, division and clear register. And the clear register I think have found what sticks. This part out here is stuck to the shaft and it shouldn't move together with the shaft so I have to loosen that guy, one more part stuck, this guy. Okay, I think now clearing should work. Oh. Well, that wasn't good. Once I got the addition and subtraction to work and also the uh, multiplication to show signs of life, uh, the rest of the restoration became more difficult. Uh, in large part because the problems uh, were a lot more subtle. Uh, so it was so hard actually that I, I stopped uh, taking video for the last week and a half and concentrate on, on uh, fixing the machine. But uh, eventually I did. I can give you an idea of the problems I faced. Uh, so you um, might have uh, seen in one of the videos the clearing that jammed the machine and that was not very reproducible and it turns out that was a hard one to find. It's a very small part that was misadjusted and it's down here, hard, uh, having a hard time to see it on the camera. But it's uh, the delatching of the release clutch and there's a little tail minuscule thing that you have to bend away so it catches the delatching uh, rotating part. So once I got that one done um, the uh, clearing did work and it stopped uh, jamming the machine which was very annoying. I had to unjam it, I had to remove the carriage. So that was one big victory. Uh, the second big victory was to make the division work. And division I had another subtle problem where it would start, uh, do a few steps and then stop in the middle of it in the first left shift. Uh, so it 
looked like it kind of worked and actually almost everything did work uh, and finally uh, I traced it, it was well hidden too so it's obvious now I show it this lever is the um, end of division lever and once I figured out that this was its function and it was fairly easy I looked on what it hit and this is very hidden level right here and I was stuck so once I fixed that uh, which was my last you know, one before last lever to be stuck. Um, uh, division worked all of a sudden. Uh, let me try to turn the machine around for the next problem. So the next big problem was actually the hardest uh, to uh, one of the hardest to find, um, and the multiplication would work and in the process of starting another one or of, of clearing it would jam the machine in a, in a weird way um, it tried to shift to the right and to the left at the same time so for the longest time I thought it was a shifting problem by the way it was pretty hard to get it unstuck and then finally I uh, realized that it's the end of the multiplication that doesn't reset correctly and that was due to this lever over here. There are two levers, uh, this one and this one, which both move during multiplication and, and change the steps. And they are activated by this rotating fellow here. So it has three positions, like it, all the way in, where it hits the two levers, half the way in, where it should hit just one lever and completely out. And when it was half the way in, it would not hit this lever reliably and, 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 uh, and that's the end of the multiplication. So the solution was fairly simple. You have to bend this lever further to the left uh, so it catches and you can see now it's bent. And uh, so that made my multiplication work. Uh, but that was a many hours of watching the machine, uh, several days actually. Uh, then other, uh, my last stuck lever finally that was on the negative multiplication here that wouldn't go in and uh, this one it took me forever too because it's it's a black part that's very thin and it was stuck, you can see I'm moving it here, it was stuck in the closed position here of course there's no way to see that's a movable part when it's like that there's no way to see it from the inside either because it's too thin uh, but when I finally figured that one out, uh, I was able to uh, un get it unstuck uh, by wiggling it. So now negative multiplication and uh, uh, additive multiplication work. And then finally, the, this was the, the cherry on the cake, um, the uh, repeat uh, uh, multiplication, which is actually a very nice mechanism. Uh, didn't work, and that's because a it was uh, I, I, I it wasn't uh, uh, put back properly into position, and b this uh, little lever wasn't catching the teeth. Uh, but it's an obvious adjustment. So once you find it, there's those two screw done for it. So now it, it repeats. Okay, that's a neat mechanism. Let me demonstrate if uh, if I can um, just power the machine up. But maybe turn this big bright light off and uh, so it actually has uh, memory for the uh, multiplication and just when I want to demonstrate things don't work at all why is that uh, okay well it's oh because I have the repeat on all right uh, so if you Put a number, for example, and then you press the repeat key. Uh, then you do a multiplication. Let's do this one. You see at the end, so it did the multiplication over here. Press it once and put the carriage exactly back where it was with the right numbers. I'm going to do it again because it's an amazing little piece of engineering here. Okay, multiply, so it will clear it. Here, stop again. Go through all the digits and, oops, magically come back. 
Anyhow, that was the last touch, and now uh, I can uh, actually claim that all the functions work, and I'm going to go through a full demo uh, in my uh, restored state video. I think I repaired the last bit. Uh, it should now divide. So let's. Uh, uh, I saw that example on uh, on YouTube how to calculate calculate pi with a fraction approximation. It's three five five. And enter dividends three five five. I don't know if you can see it. And you divide it by. One, one, three, and you need to press two buttons on this calculator, this one and then that one. Off we go. And here we go. 3.141592 something. So it divides and it multiplies and adds and subtracts. It's repaired.